Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with the second update for my Pana palette. And as you know, I'm panning my Modern Renaissance palette this year. And my goal with this is to finish up completely. But if you didn't see my last video and you wonder where I've been and also why my voice may sound a little bit off, it's because I actually currently have COVID and I've been sick for about six, I think it's today six now. I tested positive on Wednesday, but I had symptoms since Monday. Yeah, I'm basically been out with it. I've been off work. I, it, it wasn't terrible for me, but I've definitely been ill. Um, and I just haven't been able to film. This is the first time I'm wearing makeup in six days. So yeah, not ideal. And also that is showing a bit in the progress of my project this month or this kind of in this kind of period. Uh, but I think I still have pretty decent progress on my Pana palette, although I wish I had a bit more, but that is fine. But yeah, I just wanted to give you that little disclaimer in case you haven't seen that video and I'm filming these on the same day. Um, because yeah, this is the first day I'm feeling good enough to film. But um, I'm not going to ramble on about it anymore. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you in the family. But let's just jump into the video. So I'm gonna scooch a bit to the side, which I usually do, and I'm gonna put up the pictures here of what my palette looked like at the last month. So this is what it looked like at the last month. I had pretty good progress from the first month, and if you haven't seen my first update, I recommend you look at that, because then you will also see what my palette was at the introduction. But um, yeah, I had a pretty good progress. I had panned on nine shades at the last update and I hadn't panned on anything new at the last update or finished anything, but I did have pretty good progress, especially on Tempera and Vermeer. But yeah, that is where I was at the last update and this is where I am with my palette today. So we have some really good progress and we have two major changes which I'm gonna go through. Uh, but let's start with the first shade in the palette, which is Tempera. I um, have the picture up here just for your reference, which is easier than me holding up the palette. The first eyeshadow in the palette is Tempera, which is that cream shade, and I have used this 21 times in the past month. Um, I think this is one that I could have used a little bit more if I wanted to, but I did actually decide to focus in on the cream shadow in my product level up palette um, to get some more use out of that while I'm still working on that palette. Uh, so I put this on the wayside, but I think I only used that one four times so far. So I don't think I could have used this one that much more. Um, granted, again, I haven't been wearing makeup for the last week, uh, but I'm happy with 21 uses and I think you can definitely see a difference in the pan. Um, I think this one might be done by next month, but I'm not going to push it because I know this will be done either next month or the month after that. But I definitely think this could be done if I focus in on it, but that is the first shade Tempera. The next shade is Golden Ochre, and I have used this one seven times in the past month, and I think you can definitely see a little bit of pan increase in this. I really like this shade as a first transition, especially if I'm actually doing green looks, which I haven't been doing too much this month, but I did in January. And also when I'm doing more kind of orangey, like neutral looks, this is a really unique and different transition shade to add into it, because it has a bit more of that um, kind of grungy undertone to it, almost like a green leaning yellow, and it's beautiful. I really like this shade, and also it's a bit lighter, so I can use more of it, and I think that's why you also see a bit more progress on this shade. Then we have the next eyeshadow, which is the first elephant in the room, and that is Vermeer. I actually have finished Vermeer completely. That is what it looks like now. Um, I finished this mainly as a highlighter, like a face highlighter, but I also use this as an in the corner highlighter. I found that it was too light to use on the lid on its own, so I used it in those two ways mainly. Um, I also used it to brow one highlight a couple of times, but either a highlight on my eyes or a highlight on my face. And I did use this 37 times in the past month. And in total, I used this 66 times to finish it. Granted, I already had pan on this when I introduced this palette into this project. Then next up we have the shade Bon Fresco, which is this pink shade right here. I wanted to focus on this this past month because it is more of that pink tone in the palette. There's like a couple of pink tones that I really wanted to focus on them this month because of Valentine's Day, obviously. Um, and I only used this five times, which is an ideal. Um, I actually used this six times in January, so it's less than I did in January. But I've focused a lot on um, some of the other pink shades in this palette, so... Um, yeah, I'm not too worried about it, but yeah, only five uses, uh, but I think this is going to be one that I can easily uh, use as a tuition shade and finish up at some point in the year. Although I think when summer hits, I don't think I'm going to use this too, too much, so it's probably something that I'm going to focus in more again on when we got, get to the late months of the year. 
Then we're gonna skip over the next two really fast because I actually haven't used them at all. And that is Antique Bronze right here and Love Letter right here. I haven't used these two at all, so zero uses on those. Then next to that we have Cypress Umber, which is the dark brown in the palette. And I've only used this twice. Um, I haven't been feeling super dark, smoky brown looks. And I've also focused on other deeper shades. So this one was this one that I didn't really put much attention to, but I can easily incorporate this into future looks, either as an outer corner shade or as an eyeliner. So again, I'm not too worried about this one. I just haven't had time to focus on it yet. Then we're moving on to the second row. The first shade is Raw Sienna, which is this one here. I haven't used this shade because I've been focusing more on Burnt Orange, which is the one next to it, because they are very, very similar. Burnt Orange is just a little bit more kind of orange leaning and raw sienna has a bit more similar undertone to golden ochre without more kind of yellow undertone rather than orange but i have used uh, burnt orange seven times in the past month and there is a little bit of a dip starting to form in this eyeshadow um i didn't think it would be able to hit pan on this in the past month because i was focusing more on the cooler tones in this palette but I think this might be a focus for me in the next month to try to pan on this eyeshadow um, because it's an easy one that I can use every single day. The next step we have the shade Primavera which I haven't used at all because I was focusing on Vermeer because that is more of a winter time shade for me rather than Primavera which I think I'm going to focus more on in summer and maybe even start using now when I've used up Vermeer but I'm not going to focus on it too too much before we hit the summer months. Uh, then after that we have the shade Red Ochre which is like a deep, it looks red in the pan but it's really just a warm deep brown um, and I really like this shade as a deep nap shade and I've used this three times in the past month, not that much use on it but again I think this is easily going to be something that I can incorporate um, in the next couple of months. Uh, but I've been used focusing on other shades. Speaking of things that I've been focusing, we have the next shade, which is Venetian Red right here. And you can see that I was able to pad on this in the past month, and it's a decent sized pan that I've hit as well. Um, you can see it right there. This is quite a crumbly shade in the palette, um, so that's probably why it went faster and why I've been able to expand the pan quite fast. Because this shade didn't really have massive progress when I first introduced this palette, but it was one of the shades I wanted to focus on in the past month, and I really did. I used this 10 times in the past month, and I hit pan on it after 9 uses. Uh, and in total now I have used it 13. So I used it four times after I hit pan on it. And like I said, the pan has expanded really nicely. And I think this is going to be one that it's going to go very quickly when I actually focus on it. Um, I do like this shade, so I'm going to try to focus on it again in March. But not as heavily as I focus on it in February. Because I do want a little bit of a change. But yeah, that is the shade Venetian Red. Then we have the last two shades in the palette. First up we have Warm Taupe which um, has a really big dip in it now um, and I've used this 20 times in the past month. Basically I've been using this as an eyebrow shade and I think that's the only way I used it in the past month. I don't think I used it in my crease at all. I did use it a little bit in my crease in the prior months and in total I have 33 uses. Um, I think I'm not super close to pan but I definitely think I'll be able to pan on this in the next month. So I think that's going to be one of my goals, um, but yeah, this is a warm taupe. Then for the last shade in the palette we have Realgar, which is this one right here, and I've only used this once for a total of 5 uses, so that is where I am with my palette today. So I'm really happy with the amount of progress that I was able to make in this palette, and I'm definitely starting to get a few more dips in here, like I think this one has a decent dip, this one has a decent dip, like this one probably has the biggest dip. I'm really happy with the pan that I um, got in this shade and obviously I finished my first shade. So really good progress. I think for the next month, because I tried to pick some focus shades to work on so that I can pick some shades to complement those in my uh, BYOP. Um, and I'm going to continue working on Venetian Red a little bit, but it's not going to be my main focus. Instead, my main focus is going to start going back a bit to these more orangey tones, because we are moving into more of the warmer weather. So I want to focus more on those. Um, I think, I mean, I'm going to focus on those a lot in summer anyway. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to pan on Burnt Orange. So that's going to be my focus shade when it comes to those orangey shades. And then I'm still going to try to focus on Venetian Red and Bon Fresco, which are these two right here. And um, of course I'm going to focus on one taupe, but I used to leave my brows so I don't really have to worry about incorporating them that necessarily into my eye looks. But that is going to be my focus shades for the next month, but obviously whatever I feel like using, I'm going to use. So before we wrap up this video, I'm just going to go through some of the looks that I did. Again, I don't have too many looks because I didn't wear too much makeup and yeah, this is just a palette that I kind of use for every single day anyway. 
but I have a few looks that I want to share so let's go through them quickly so the first look we have is this one right here which is actually the look that I did for Valentine's Day in this look I'm actually wearing Venetian red all over my lid which is this shade right here and I do believe I actually blended it out with one fresco, which is this right here. Um, I might have also used a bit of a peach shade just to neutralize it out a bit. I think I actually used the one in my Odin's Eye Elva palette, which is the one in my Palos Eyeshadows. And so I mix those two in my crease to not make it super cool toned. And on my lid I'm wearing Cleona Glisten, which is one of the iridescent multi-chromes. And it turned into this like beautiful, it looks quite purple in this look, but it was like a pink to purple and shifty shade that was beautiful to wear on top of that slightly deeper shade and I also pulled that uh, glisten shade into my inner corner which is the inner corner shade you can see but this was a beautiful look and I really really liked that and it was the perfect valentine's day look the second look that I have to share with you today is this one right here it's actually the only look that I have left to show you apart from the one I'm wearing today um, and in this look I kind of lay a lot of the shades in here to get like a really nice um, layered just neutral eye look and um, it was a look that I was gonna wear throughout the day but also wear into going out in the evening um, so that's why I kind of wanted to like layer it out and make it slightly a little smoky but I started off the look with golden ochre which is this shade here then I um, kind of built up the crease a bit more with burnt orange which is this shade here um, for my outer corner uh, and slightly into the crease I started using red ochre which is this shade here um, so that is kind of the main deepening up shade and therefore, closer to my lash line and at the very, very end, I also used a little bit of Cypress Umber to get that final layering look. Uh, and then on my lids, I wore one of the shades again in my Panos eyeshadow, which is the shade Rubidium from Terra Moons, which is a beautiful, really shimmery shade. Then finally, we have the look that I'm wearing today. I'm not wearing too much of my Panda palette in this look, but I am again wearing a Venetian red all over my lid um, as a base. And then in my crease, I have a few peachy shades from my um, Panos eyeshadows as well as my whole collection of the pan. And then um, on my lid, I am wearing the Pastel Roses Spectrum, which is a beautiful multi-chrome. I think you can mainly see like the orange shift on camera, but it looks really green in other lights. And yeah, it's absolutely stunning. I really like that shade. And then on my inner corner, I'm wearing that shade of Rubidium again from Terra Moose. And that is basically the look today. I really like it. I want to use as many shades as I could because I haven't been wearing makeup. But I still wanted to do something that was not over the top. So that is the final look that I have to share with you for my palette palette this month. And with that, I'm going to wrap up this update because my throat is getting really sore. And I've been talking for a long time because I've been filming two videos now. And I can definitely feel the strain on my voice. Um, but that is it for today. I think, hopefully, fingers crossed, I will be back to normal with my uploading schedule in the next week. Um, or like I guess in this week because I think I should post this on Monday um, but yeah hopefully from now on I will be back to my regular posting schedule um, but yeah I just been swamped with personal life and then obviously I got Covid and it's been all over the place so I've been posting as regularly as I want to but fingers crossed I can get back into my routine and with that I'm gonna wrap up this video I really hope you enjoyed it and if you did please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and I will catch you in my next one bye guys